Hello friends, I'm told if you don't do an MCP video at least once a month right now that you start falling behind and so I thought it was a good opportunity to show how you can use the Sentry MCP server alongside the rest of Sentry to help debug problems inside of your applications. So we're going to show using Sentry's AI debugging agent Seer and how you can pull its root cause analysis and use that in cursor to fix problems inside of your app. Let's check it out. So to get started, here I am inside of Sentry and we can see a couple of different issues that have come up for me. I'm going to drop down into cursor and first I'm going to come into cursor settings and I'm going to make sure inside of this MCP and integration section that I have my MCP server set up. So I come in here and click on this edit icon and I can see the server here. If I click on this and drop that MCP off at the end, we can see the MCP landing page that we've built. So if you don't want to do this inside a cursor, you can come to this website and you can actually hit this and log in and use MCP inside of this demo site. It's a good way to interact and start to get a feel for how MCP works. Uh, it just won't modify your code inside of your application. So with that said, I'm going to head back into cursor. Everything's all set up the way I want it to be. And right out of the gate, I'm going to bring up the chat window and I'm going to ask this about the projects that I'm working in. So show me the top issues in my unborked and unborked server projects in Sentry. Now we've built the MCP server to have natural language abilities. So you don't have to be too specific in this. You can just ask it questions and it'll go out and start to query it. And in this case, it takes this information and says, I need to know what organizations the user has access to. And then I'm going to call the projects inside of their organizations and try to find these ones so that I can query it. And so the really cool thing about MCP is it's smart enough to start digging on this information and do research for you. Now, cursor on its own, I could have taken the error messages and just pasted it in and hoped that it would figure it out. And in some cases it might, but a lot of times you want to understand what's happening inside of that application and especially the systems that it's connecting to. Sentry is really, really good at bringing together context. And in our case, context is things like logs or stack traces or your code base or even your tracing and spans. Bringing all those things together to figure out why something is actually broken is actually a really hard thing to do without something like Sentry. And so in this case, we get to bring it all together here. So it finished its query. It's found the top issue. So found one issue on the front end, three issues on the back end. We could have this go ahead and go fix it, right? So... <laughs> Let's fix these issues with Seer. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna go trigger a Seer root cause analysis against those three different issues. Now this takes a little while to run, so I'm gonna let this run in the background. I'll be back in a few and we'll talk about what it found. All right, so this is still finishing up a few, but I wanted to take a look at where it's at now. So I can expand any of these and we can see it's pulling in that root cause analysis. So this is all the stuff that's coming from inside of Sentry. And so let's go take a cool look, quick look inside of the dashboard. This is for Unborked Server 33. If we go switch back into Chrome and we look for 33, we can drop in and we can see all the same information is here. Now, normally I could come in and I could copy this here. So I could copy into the, copy the markdown down and I could paste this into cursor and use it there. But the MCP server is going to take care of all of that for us. It's going to pull all of that in and it's going to work through those individual issues to fix them. So we'll let that run still in the background. I'm going to open up a new tab and show you something else that's pretty cool. So new tab here. And I'm going to say, show me all the database performance issues for Unborked server and Sentry. And this is going to go and use our traces and spans to research how the databases are performing inside of my application. So it's not just about what's broken inside your application. It's also the areas where experience isn't great. We can use the information that we get back from this to have cursor go and work on fixing those API routes as well, or whatever database queries are in place to actually make those calls. And so again, it goes out, it's going to search for issues. It's going to look for projects and find that Unborg server project. From here, it's going to look into other issues inside of there and find if any of those are performance related. And then what you'll see is eventually it'll start chipping away at things like searching for spans or traces inside of your environment also. And we can see on the left-hand side, it's starting to make some fixes. So if we shift, shift back over to that other tab, we can see that it's finished all four of its root cause. And now it's moving into actually fixing these based on the information that it got. And so again, taking all that context that Sentry has and having it come up with the solution for the problem and then delegating fixing it with that information to something like Cursor is a really good way to go and make progress on fixing problems inside of your environment. We can pull PRs inside of Seer and have it automatically open those up and, and you could go and review those and accept them if you wanted to. But a lot of times when I'm working on bugs inside of my applications, I'm already sitting in Cursor or one of my IDs and I wanna be able to just fix it there. And so getting this way is a really good way to have it done really fast.
So it's gone through and it's fixed two of them. I'm gonna switch back over to the database performance one. It's still pulling this together. And we can see it's found the error. It's found some query parameter issues. And then it starts digging into real performance stuff. So for example, it can see a couple of connections that were extremely slow. It can see the slowest query inside of there. So the queries on the products table. And we can even start pulling in stats. So we get a ton of information all from the MCP server. Normally, we just go and manually stitch this all together. But using MCP makes it really easy to get all of that context and that information right here. I could take this, again, feed in another prompt that says, take this information and go debug why this is happening. And Cursor will take that and run with it. So that's a video for another time, though. I just wanted to show you really quick how you could use the C or debugging information to fix problems inside of your apps within Cursor. We'd love for you to give it a try. Let us know if there's anything we can do to make it better. Talk to you soon.